I have a confession to make. I use proprietary software. I use quite a few instances of proprietary software. Now, I don't think that that comes as a surprise to anyone who's watched my channel. You know precisely what proprietary software I use. I talk about it a lot on my channel. Now, I also proclaim myself to be a FOSS enthusiast, so those two things don't really go together, at least in the rational frame of talking about things. So, what I want to talk about today is, should I feel guilty for using proprietary software as a FOSS enthusiast? Let's go ahead and figure that out. So before we jump in, if you leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd be really appreciative. It really helped the channel. So. This all came about during a recent Linux user group where we're talking about proprietary software and the morality behind using it. And one of the things that I thought about was that when I use proprietary software, there's a small part of my brain that feels guilty for doing so, especially when there is an open source alternative to the software that I'm using. I don't feel so guilty when I'm using something that doesn't have an alternative because there's no alternative. So for example, Vivaldi is my main web browser and it is closed source, although it is source available and therefore it's not open source. And on the other side of that, Firefox is obviously available, open source, and one of the premier pieces of software that proclaims FOSS to the world. So when I use Vivaldi, there's a small part of my brain that feels guilty for not using Firefox, and that guilt has led me to try Firefox over and over and over again, thinking that I should be using it because, again, I'm a FOSS enthusiast, but I can't because I, I know going in that, I, that it's just not going to work because it doesn't have the features that I want. So I go back to Vivaldi, but I continue to have that guilt, and it's just an endless cycle of guilt tripping myself into trying something that I know is not going to work. Now... Maybe that's a little extreme for some people. Probably you don't experience that to that extreme, but I think there are other people out there who use proprietary software when there's a false alternative who maybe feel a certain way about it. So I have been thinking about this now for a little while, and the way I justify it is that these things are tools, right? My web browser is a tool, and it is a thing that I use for enjoyment and, and uh, entertainment and all that stuff, right? So it's something that I use often and brings me joy and productivity and all that stuff. And as long as it does the things that I need it to do, I think that it's okay to use it. I think that that's where this entire thing boils down to because using proprietary software doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't mean that I like Linux any less. It doesn't mean that I am any less of a FOSS enthusiast. I will still sing the praises of open source software to the high heavens. I will tell you that if there's an alternative to a tool that I use that is open source, I would prefer to use it if I can. If I can't, that's okay. In the case of Vivaldi, I have to give myself permission saying that that's okay. But if there's an alternative and I can use it, I will prefer that piece of software. It's just kind of that simple. I'm going to use the thing that does the thing that I need to do the best, if that makes any sense. Let's see if we can't break that sentence down and actually use some nouns. Okay, so I'm going to use the item, or I'm going to use this piece of software that does the job the best. I think that makes more sense and, you know, is more grammatically correct. Probably not, but we'll see. Anyways, so what was I talking about? I don't even remember. <laughs> the point is, is that I will use the thing that is best for the job at hand, whether that's entertainment or my actual work or making a YouTube channel, whatever that may be. And I think that that's the way it is for most people. The guilt is still going to be there, but at least I can console myself in knowing that in the vast majority of my choices, I've made the best choice I can. And if open source was available to me for the things that I need to do, I've chosen that option. Things like Audacity and open source, I've made those choices. I use Linux as a daily driver. I don't have Windows and actually use it anywhere on any of my computers. I can feel good about that. I don't have to be, feel prou proud about it, but I can feel good about it. I've made the choices that I can to do what I should and use open source software, but I'm not going to beat myself up over using proprietary software when the need arises. And the problem all of this comes in is that there are people out there in the Linux community that are not thinking it that way. They think that if you use proprietary software, you can't possibly like open source software because if you did like open source software, you wouldn't use proprietary software. It's a, it's a circular argument, but 
people think that way. And when you encounter these people who are usually overly loud about their about their false bravado, you're going to, again, have that guilt creep up into the back of your mind. I know I do. And think, well, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe I should use more open source software. But you kind of have to tone those people out because the vast majority of people aren't like that. And also, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't actually give a crap what you guys think about what I use for my daily work. Like, if you judge me because I use Vivaldi, that's your problem, not mine. I use Vivaldi because I like Vivaldi. It does all the things I need a browser to do. Firefox doesn't. That's as simple as it needs to be. And if your opinion is you know, that I shouldn't use Vivaldi because it's proprietary, closed source, or source available. That's your opinion. You're free to it. And if you don't like that I use Vivaldi and you've chosen to unsubscribe or never watch any of my videos again, I mean, I'm sorry to see you go, but uh, it's, there's no skin off my back. That just more reflects on you than it reflects on me. And I think the vast majority of people are with me when it comes to that. You use what you need to use. And that's the way that it is, right? So... To those people who judge others for using proprietary software, maybe tone it down a bit because you're making us all look like assholes. Now, there's obviously a big, big section of the open source community that uses Linux, and Linux is the biggest open source project of them all. Now, I have been guilty of judging people who use Windows. I've talked about this before on my channel. I've judged people who use Windows. I am very honest about that. But I'm self-aware enough to know that that's wrong. Some people have to use Windows. I've made a whole video, I'll, I'll link it here, about why some people have to use Windows, whether it's gaming or work or hardware limitations or the fact that they just can't get access to Linux for some certain reason. You know, there's all sorts of legitimate reasons why people can't use Linux. And that's okay. We have to be okay with that. And I think that that's the first step towards accepting the state of the way things are is to realize that it's okay that not everyone is a Linux nerd, okay? And yes, I keep the hat. The, there's like a pile of hats over here. It's, it's going to eventually topple over and I'll be buried in hats. If you want a hat, shop at the LinuxCast.org. You can get this brand new I Love Vim hat if you like, you know, Vim. If you like Nano... Don't buy a hat. That's as simple as I guess that's the way it has to be. All right, anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough and kind of made my point. I don't really remember what the point was, but that's beside the point. Anyways, if you want to have any comments on whatever it is I talked about, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon. That link will be in the video description as well. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. That link will also be in the video description if you don't want to type those kind of things in. You can support me on on YouTube or Kofi or Liberape. Those links will also be in the video description. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. Now, if you, like I said, would like to support me, you can do so on Patreon, YouTube, Kofi, Liberape, or you can head on over to the store where you'll be able to find awesome merch like the hats, or you can get t-shirts or sweaters or stickers, or there's like a notebook, there's backpacks, all sorts of stuff. That's shop.thelinuxcast.org. All the proceeds for all that merch goes directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. So thank you so very much for your support. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.